Today, down Forest Lane, I'm making hand towels on my rigid heddle loom. I live in the forest with my family. I own a business that sells hand-dyed domestic yarn, and I do a lot of making from fiber arts to gluten-free baking to permaculture gardening. Let's get into it. I'm warping up the loom for hand towels. My loom is a 24-inch Ashford rigid heddle. I used three colors of 8-4 cotton yarn and warped up, I think, either 104 or 108 inches for two 40-inch towels. I can't remember exactly which. I used every single slot and hole on my 12 and a half dent huddle, so that works out to 300 ends. The plaid pattern wasn't anything I found, I just made it up. Once I got the loops cut, I started pulling all of the second strands through the holes. This shows really well how when you're weaving with cotton or other cellulose fibers that there are like little gaps between the strands. There's like a little square that you can see through. Um, it's not really the same with things like wool that you can get them packed in tighter, um, but these close up significantly after getting washed. Okay, so let me tell you what happened here. Um, this grayish green cotton yarn that I'm weaving these dish towels in had a knot in it, and I wasn't even thinking about it, and it's in the warp, which is the ones that go long ways this way. Um, but when you, it has to pass through this hole every time you go forward and back. So it was really like yanking on it and then eventually it just broke. So I didn't think about that. If there was a knot in it, I should have just cut it, tied it and started over. Um, it would have been okay if it was in the weft. Like I don't even think about knots when I'm knitting. I don't really care about them. So what I'm gonna do is weave these through with this little latch hook um, and then Okay, so I got this piece here. I got the latch hook through where it's supposed to go. So I'm gonna pull it up through. The reason I'm going to tie a knot is because this is still going to be under tension. I would just like overlap them and like not worry about it, but this is gonna be pulled on and I don't want this to like get pulled on and like on slide on slide and then it's all flappy again and driving me crazy so I'm gonna get this top piece through the hole and in here
Okay, I have these two towels off the loom. I used the full 24 inches across and I made them 40 inches long. I wanted to see how much they shrink up, see if this is a good length to make them. So off the loom, off of tension, they're 22 and a half inches across and about 38 inches long. So they'll shrink up a lot more when I wash them. I used 8-4 cotton. I used three 800 yard cones. And this is the one where I did the same pattern across as I did this way. And this one I did a little bit more of a freestyle in the left. So now I have to weave in things like this and trim the fringe and get them washed. Since I hadn't made anything with this kind of yarn before, I wanted to soak it before putting it in the washing machine. I used really hot water and soap. Um, and you can see it, it like bloomed up tremendously after doing so. Um, and I also wanted to see if the, the dye would leach out a little bit, and I think a tiny bit did, but after that I put it in the washer and dryer. Hot off the press. Oh my god. Okay, so these shrunk to a little bit less than 20 inches wide and 32 inches long. So they started out as 24 inches. I used every single slot and hole on my 24 inch heddle and I made them 40 inches under tension. So you can see that everything has closed up. You can't really see through it anymore. I cut the fringe at three quarters of an inch and it's all like unplied itself. Everything is in its right place now. It looks so good. I can't wait to make more of these for my kitchen and bathroom. Check out the description below for all of my links to my online shop, to sign up for my mailing list, to drop me a tip in my tip jar, and everywhere else you can find me.